Hey YouTube, so uh, just kind of something that was, that's been on my mind lately. Um, so as I've mentioned before, to my left, uh, the Subaru is sitting next to me, but <clears throat> in a previous video I mentioned how much mileage I have on the, uh, the built engine and uh, how much I've wanted to uh, possibly get my, another built one because I have a feeling like this is kind of on its last leg. Um, it still runs perfectly fine, but you know, obviously uh, engines do not last forever, especially those that are built and abused. Uh, haven't been to the track in quite a few months, but I've driven it around town, operates perfectly fine, but I don't want to be taking that chance to have uh, lots of downtime. But um, uh, there's been some life situations, which I'll explain in another video, but uh, I just pulled the two engines aside, so I thought I'd share. I've had these engines sitting in a box since uh, 2018. That's when the, uh, the car had come out of the shop, fully built as it sits now. You know, tuning adjustments here and there, but it's been on the same engine. And the two engines that I had prior have been just kind of sitting here. I forget which one is which, but one is the stock block that was blown up. Um, still got all the... Uh, all the internals in it, and then the other one was uh, I was an idiot, and I didn't deck the head or the deck the block or case halves when I got the new heads. So you know, obviously you have problems there when you don't have perfectly flat um, main surfaces. So anyway, um, also want to interrupt and say uh, F1 season is back on. Uh, it's odd. It's very weird that um, I had the privilege to be at the Bahrain race in 2022, the, uh, the introduction to the new era of the technical regulations. So it's kind of cool to see the track again. Obviously not cool to not be there, but um, it's also cool to see all the development progress that is happening. But anyway, let's get back into this. Um, I want to protect my workout box and make fun of me if you want to on having the tarp there. The other one I don't really care about. It's just an old engine crate. Anyway, I'll grab my gloves really quick. So, break into these boxes. I just don't want to get my hands dirty or possibly catch any splinters. I don't think there's going to be any because these blocks haven't been used. And obviously, if you have birds on your engine, it's not going to be well anyway. So, you guys are seeing them for the first time, and I'm seeing them for the first time since 2018. So, that's what they actually look like anyway. Hopefully, not really right well and useless. Alright, so, first one here. Oh, just the case has. So, this happens to be the one that um, I actually um, didn't deck the that the case have, so they're a little bit uneven still, because obviously not bad engine and it's brand new. And this one, in that case, process of elimination is going to be the stock block. This one's going to be a little bit heavier because it's still got the internals in it, because I kind of just kept it for I don't know what reason. I don't even know if it's salvageable, maybe, but that's up to you to determine. Sick. I'll go ahead and turn this around. All right. Now for a closer look, and I'll be able to show you guys the carnage. I kind of regret not filming any of this during during the uh, development stages of the car because I had first got it, and <clears throat> or I was going through the major processes, and I never even thought to do any of this. I just took pictures all the time. So that's the history of the Instagram. But here we go. And you can see, well, no, not yet. There you go. Let me actually grab my phone or a flashlight. I don't know where that's at. So I'll just grab my phone really quick. And then looking in there, you can see where the, the piston actually broke off. And then uh, there's also some uh, issues with the uh the valve coming down as well so there's that what i'm happy to see is it looks like this 
might still be usable if I just cleaned it up and uh, yeah, overboard it a little bit. So yeah, I don't, that's just like a piece of whatever, but I'm not gonna get my hands dirty. And there's quite a bit of rust possibly in there. And then I think this side was fine. Yep, just dirty, no use. This block actually had 99,000 miles on it when I took it apart or blew it up. But the first rotated kit that I had, which was the uh, ETS kit, which is still on the car, but at the time it was a 5858 with a 63 um, exhaust housing. So yeah, there's that. And then this is just the cleaner block. Um, dang, I'm super impressed with how clean that actually looks. That's awesome. Um, closed deck, obviously. Well, I guess not obvious, but um, I got this deck closed when I first uh, put a built engine in it. And then I wanted to go stupid, and I truly went stupid when I got new heads and didn't deck this, as I have said three times now. But, um, yeah, I thought this was going to be a little bit more uh, catastrophic than, I, than it actually is, which I'm happy. Um, I think the stock block is still usable. Obviously not the, the pistons or anything. I would, I would just redo um, all the internals. But overall, um, yeah, clean it up and have two good candidates for um, case halves that I can rebolt together and reuse. So I don't know, we'll see uh, what the timeline looks like. Um, I'll explain in another video the, uh, the personal side of all this and why I've been only consistent in being inconsistent with this. <laughs> but trust me, I still have, um, things that I want to do and plans that I want to execute. It's just a matter of puzzle pieces falling together and working through some struggles, which um, I doubt is a, uh, a rare occasion for anybody at this particular time. Some have it easier than others, but you know, we're all dealing with the struggle. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the car is sitting right there. Got two cases or two, uh, Two blocks right here that I believe are potential candidates to get built and have a standby heart for when I think the current one is done. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, this is on Saturday night. So if you do watch it, um, hope you enjoy the Bahrain Grand Prix. This season is going to be wild just because Bahrain right now, uh, Aston Martin seems to be showing some stuff. So we'll see what happens. And Mercedes is definitely well improved this year as well so far. So we'll see what the other, this race and the 22 following have in store for us. But until next time, y'all, thanks for watching.